the very most affordable makeup that I could find and I shopped my stash. I didn't go out and buy anything new, just so you know that. And we're gonna achieve this look right here. Let's get into that video right now. All right, friends, not only am I super excited to bring you a very, very affordable makeup look that you can put together from start from the very start to the finish, but I'm also excited because this video is a collab video. This particular collab was started by Bobby from Mindful Midlife, and I thank her so much for including me in it, but she gathered up some really wonderful women too. There is Lisa from Lisa Monique Beauty. I'm reading it off of my phone so I don't get anything wrong. Sherry from Graceful Beauty, and Laura from Laura Ray Beauty. Now, so many of these women I have been watching for as long as I can remember. Bobby does a very wonderful roundup of lifestyle on her channel. She talks about health. She talks about fashion. She talks about makeup. She has a really well-rounded channel. I think you're going to love her. Lisa Monique. I can listen to Lisa talk all day long. Lisa is an absolutely beautiful soul that I have become friends with, and she's just a darling, darling woman gorgeous woman, beautiful hair. I love her hair. It's so pretty. Her niche is a little bit more high-end, which I really appreciate because I am drugstore. And so going over and seeing the things that she likes helps me decide what I might want to buy there. And then Laura from Laura Ray Beauty, I've been watching for a couple of years now. I love watching Laura because she just seems like no nonsense to me. And I love her Amazon finds for makeup. She has the great the greatest finds for makeup on Amazon. I have bought so many things that she's recommended. And then there's Sherry from Graceful Beauty. And Sherry and I have been friends for goodness, probably five years. We actually talk on the phone all the time. We text all the time. Sherry is a dear, dear friend to me. She has a spectacular channel that deals mostly with skincare. And Sherry has gotten so much down on skincare for the mature woman. If you have any questions whatsoever, head on over to her channel and check out her skincare videos. And believe me, I've bought quite a few things that Sherry has recommended. So I hope that you do get to go over and see some of those ladies. They are just the cream of the crop. And if you are visiting me from some of those channels and you haven't met me before, my name is Melissa and I am 53 years old. My videos are geared towards mostly makeup, makeup application, tips, tricks, and reviews. I do do some do do. I do some skin care and I also do some hair care, but mostly it's about makeup and tutorials and helping you to feel the very best that you can feel in your own skin, especially as we age and things change so much on our faces. And for me, my two biggest hurdles right now are menopause, you know, personal summers, all that, and <laughs> that I have super dry skin. So I hope that you do take a moment and check through my content. I have well over, I think, 450 50 videos that you can look through. I've been on YouTube for approximately six years and I love doing this. And if there are ever any questions that you have for me, I am more than happy to answer those for you. All right, let's get into you seeing what this look is because I want to show you the very most affordable makeup that I found in my stash. I didn't have to go get anything because I'm a drugstore lover anyway. So I had just about everything except for a couple that I'll talk about at the very beginning. But let's see how I got this look and let's get into to this video right now. Okay, so I pulled my hair up and I am starting off with the Heart Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer from Hard Candy. The reason that I chose this is not only is it very inexpensive, it is a really great primer that does take care of pores, but it doesn't have any oil or any silicone in it. The other thing that I find that I love about it is that it really kind of grips your foundation. And Hard Candy has some fantastic primers and they're not a whole lot of money. Also, a couple other things that I couldn't find for this video for the cheapest possible that I really love and wear is uh, this color corrector. You all know where that comes from, Pixie. This is their color corrector. I use this every single time I do my makeup. And then also my eyeshadow primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Those are the two things that I have in this video that aren't the cheapest possible. And then when I'm all done with the prep, 
I go in with my powder. If you haven't seen that, I know that it looks weird to anybody that's new. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. And I think I have mine in fair light. I go in with a very, very light hand, making sure that all that powder is really tapped off. And then I just go over every single part of my face and my neck to get it dusted with powder. The trick with this is don't put too much powder on. So whatever's on your brush is what you're using and you can just buff it in and it will be just enough. Now I'm using a really nice foundation. I almost picked out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, but I don't hear this talked about very much and I really like this for my dry mature skin. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Luminous Foundation. So I take what is on my hand and I just put it right onto the brush and I go ahead and I stipple it on. What I love, absolutely love about this foundation is that it is long wearing, it does hide all kinds of blemishes, and it is just a lovely finish to it too. This is a beautiful foundation with one coat. However, if you find places that you really think that need a little bit more, you might wanna go back in and you know just go over those. Like I do have some discoloration, as I say often, right here through my face, and I would maybe go through there if I needed to, but today it just looks like with that first coat that everything is looking really, really good. So I'm gonna go in with my Dampen Beauty Sponge now, and I'm gonna press everything into the pores, and I'm going to pick up any excess that there might be so that this looks very natural and not cakey at all. If you are wondering about this particular way of doing your foundation, I actually did just barely put up a video right before this one that I will link for you so that you can see from start to finish how I do my base makeup. And it also uh, shows you that I don't use concealer and you're not going to see any concealer in this video either. I just found probably a few months ago, three months ago, that ditching my concealer was the best thing I ever did for my 53 year old face. Most of you have probably seen these little palettes going around from Essence. This one is Dancing Green and these little six pan eyeshadow palettes are such good quality. I am so impressed with them. And I'm gonna take just this light color in the green one right now, and I'm gonna just go from brow bone all the way down onto the eyelid just to set down that eyeshadow primer. And these are only $4, that's what's so great. Okay, I'm doing two of these. I know, probably cheating because I have two of them, but two of them together, seriously, are only $8, so that's pretty good. I'm I'm going to take this peach right here as my transition color and I'm actually going to mix this one that's over here just to get it to be a little bit lighter because I don't want this to be too dark. I don't want it to be too overwhelming on my eyes. Make sure that you tap everything off really well and then that is just going to be my transition color. They have such good saturation and they really are very pigmented. They do have quite a bit of fallout as far as when you're tapping it off. But you know, I find that Anastasia Beverly Hills and some of the bigger um, companies or some of the higher end companies, they have a lot of fallout too. I think it's a sign of, a, of it being a pressed pigment instead of it just being, you know, a regular eyeshadow that isn't that great. These really show up the pigment. They're very, very easy to blend and they stay on a long time. My next color is that deep khaki brown that is in the little green palette. And I'm gonna just put that out on the outer V to deepen this look up. And I'm gonna lay down the color first and then I'll go back in and blend. Then go back in with the original brush and blend the two together. And then for the lid color in the green palette, I'm going into this very light green shimmer and I'm going to put that across my lid with my fingers starting from inner corner all the way over to that brown. It's a very, very pretty green color, but it's not too overwhelming. It's not so bright on the green that you would notice it first thing when you looked at somebody. One of the things that I do love about these shimmers is that they're not super high metallic. They just on my mature eyes, they seem to do better than a really, really high metallic. They just 
blend out nicely. They don't show up a lot of texture and I love that about them. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift Pencil. I think that this one is in a either taupe or an ash brown. Of course, this is the least expensive uh, brow product that you can probably get at the drugstore, but it's good. It's a really good one. It's actually a little bit fatter on the end of it, and it just seems to do my eyebrows a lot faster than those little ones when I'm trying to do really precise work and really a lot of brush strokes. As some of you may or may not know, Eyebrows are the bane of my makeup existence and they're really hard for me to do one because I have very shaky hands I have a palsy that's a disability in my hands and two because they're very time-consuming So I'm gonna go finish these off of camera so it doesn't take a thousand years in this video Once I get my eyebrows where I want them to I'm gonna set them down with the essence make me brow This is an eyebrow gel mascara that holds your eyebrows in place, but it also has little fibers in it so so it can, you know, build up your eyebrows a little bit if you have very sparse ones. I don't have super sparse ones on this side, but they're non-existent on this side. So it's nice to have that little bit of fibers and that gel in there to make it look a little bit bigger. I didn't really have a liner that was quite inexpensive. So I'm going to go back in with that brow pencil and I'm going to use it as a liner. And I'm just going to use it just barely out here to connect the eyeshadow with the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna take this pretty green shimmer. Yeah, it's a shimmer in the palette here. And I'm going to use it on a smudger brush and I'm gonna smudge it into that brow product that is that brown color. And I'm just going to push it up towards the eye and it's gonna make just a beautiful green outline on the outside of the eye there. So there's that smudgy, pretty look. It is kind of diffused and yet it's a little bit more glam than normal. The most affordable bronzer I could find is the new e.l.f. Putty Bronzers and I do really like these. They are really nice. Of course on the screen will come up the color that this one is. I love the way that these lay down. I love that it has just a little bit of the neutral tone so that I can wear it in the, in the combination of a contour and a bronzer. So I put this all over my face, especially in the perimeter to get everything really nice and warmed up. I just have found that lately I love bronzing up my face and making my face look a little bit warmer. It just seems to do my complexion really well and it makes me look like I have a lot more life to my face too. So I'm placing it in all the places that I would normally put my contour and then I'm going to go back in and I will just buff it like crazy. If you've been with me for any amount of time at all, you know I love my highlighters, but I love it to be strategically placed. This one is from Koki, and it's their cream highlighter. I really like this. You can find this at Sally Beauty. Uh, online for sure. I haven't been into a store lately where I found it, but this one is the rosy one. And I just think that putting this particular one under the blush where it just shows up all kinds of pretty glow underneath my blush works so well. Battery always dies when you're in the middle of something. I'm going to take that a little bit on my finger. I'm going to put it on my cupid's bow just for a little bit of highlight to give a little definition there. One more thing on the eyes that I forgot. Go in with whatever brush you want to. This is a very fat pencil brush and I'm going to put this green on the inner corner of my eyes just for something different. Something that kind of catches the light and draws it towards that um, green that we're already wearing on our eyelid. And then for blush, probably the most affordable blush that I have in my collection is from Rimmel. This is the Maxi Blush and this one is in third base. I love this color. I love the pigmentation in these. They're very, very pretty. And I really never feel like I can overdo this blush too much because it blends so nicely. Again, you're gonna be taking this and warming up all over your face. It just helps to be able to pull everything together and it really does help a lot to give my face a lot of life. Now I'm gonna set some of my face with the tiniest bit of that e.l.f. powder. I'm using a really fluffy IT brush for Ulta. This is a brush that I get asked about all the time. It's not 
a very inexpensive brush, but it's so worth it to me. It was an investment for me and I love the way that it lays down powder because it's so airy and so light and I go across everything so light that it just really works well. Plus this e.l.f. powder that I used in the beginning and that I'm using right now is so sheer and so nice and lovely. You can tell I've hit pan. It is definitely one of my favorites. I am going to line my lips with this Rimmel liner. This, I think this is Thousand Kisses. I'm not 100% sure. I'll make sure again that it goes up on the screen, but I do know that this is in Rose Quartz, one of my very favorite colors, and I'll go ahead and line my lips. This liner is super creamy. It is deep enough that it goes with just about any of my lipsticks. And I love that it wears well and helps your lipstick not to bleed through your vertical lines that you might have. And I'm going to top it with one of my very favorite Rimmel lipsticks. This is a super light pink or a super light peachy pink. So pretty. I love this one. And I'm just going to put it in the middle just to bring some dimension to my lips. Such a pretty lipstick. I love it. And then I'm going to top it with the LA Girl Holographic Lip Gloss. I like it because it does have that little bit of shifting property with some colors. So my lips aren't going to just look flat and they're not just going to look just pink today. They're going to have a little bit of a shift of color in them. All right, since we did a green eye, and I love that, we're going to go in with the LA Girl Fine Line Long Lasting Liquid Liner. And these are super tiny on their liners. I just think they're great. I'll show you the line. That is bigger than what I can get when I just, you know, go across my eyes because of my hands and how they shake. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes and I work on one eye, to, one eye at a time. I'm going to curl them and I'm going to go really tight line from inner eye corner on that lash line all the way out, leaving about a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch on the end so that it doesn't pull my eye down more. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my very favorite that I have a whole entire video on of the Bold Volume Mascara from Essence. This is one of my very favorites, probably my favorite ever at the drugstore. Just absolutely love it. It's perfect for me. I'm going to go put two coats of this on, do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I took my hair down and I'm putting some earrings on just to finish up the look a little bit. And that's the the final look. Surprisingly inexpensive, but you know how much I love drugstore and how much I love being able to find good makeup there that is really great for my mature skin and my skin needs. So I hope that you did enjoy this. Do not forget to go over and check out all of those other ladies. They all each have their own niche and what they do here on YouTube and the, the wonderful things that they cover. And I know that you're going to enjoy all of them. And if you are new to my channel. I hope that you do stick around and decide to join our little community. Hope everybody is doing well. Please take care of yourselves. I love you very, very much, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.